All right, Thursday morning, it is about 11.30. I got Jean with me. We got our stuff back in here from the New York trip. We're gonna go over to West Side, just 22 minutes away. We're picking up a 100, some plecos, maybe some equipment and a filter and stand and uh, whatever's available. But uh, just right around the corner, kind of around the corner from where uh, Jean lives, actually. Yep. In fact, we're going to be going by the Christmas house, the house in the Christmas movie story. A Christmas Story. So uh, we'll, we'll check it out. We'll go by and show you guys a picture of that as well. All right, stay tuned, everybody. We made it to Ron's. Let's go check it out and see what's up. Hi, Ron. Hi. How you John, doing? Richard. Uh, Reaper. Reaper. Right. Oh, like and this is John. This is John. John, yeah. okay. Come on in here. Okay. Going on. Hello, little kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> yeah, he's going to miss his fish. He gets to watch him through the... Oh. Uh, but that's it. I, you can have everything. I got an extra pump and everything for it. And, uh... I just want to hang on to the stand. Sure. Not okay. a problem. Yeah, not a problem. It's all yours. Sure. Okay, whatever you guys want to need to do or what do you, you know, mm -hmm. we can, whatever you want to drain it out or something. Or right, we brought our pump and drain. We'll okay. uh, we'll drain some water, your water, into our tank for transporting your three uh, okay. plecos. And then we'll get the plecos moved. We'll continue draining, remove okay. all decorations, and then we'll carry yeah. her out. I got everything underneath here. Tell you, I'm gonna have an old tank and a two a two gallon. Okay. You can have all this everything. All righty, okay. we'll clear. pump and all that stuff. And all right, basically. Okay. This is just is just a, a glass that I had. Right uh, from a I window. Had a, <laughs> yeah, I had a sitlet in here, and he, and he cracked the one side, then he cracked the other. Wow. By jumping or whatever, he's right. pretty good size and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's all. I had it since '94. Okay. Bought a brand new 94 for 400 bucks. 495. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I guess there's like 170 pounds of gravel in there. That's what they were, you know, when I bought it and stuff. So. Right. Yeah, we'll have to get all that gravel out of there. Okay. Okay. All right, we'll go get our Take equipment. Take rocks, everything. Everything. I got all kept. All right, John's got the pump going. We got some uh, buckets. We're going to fill that up with all the decorations, get them into the car. By then, the tub will be more than full enough to grab those plecos. Oh, there's one of them. They are pretty good size. I think there's supposed to be three of them. So we'll get these guys out and uh, get everything taken apart and into the bank and do the move. What was that? It's a little pebble. Oh. All right, we got more than enough water, man. Yeah, these are the same size, basically, so. Two, okay, all three over here in the corner. They're, every single one's in the corner. They're all about the same size. Uh, yeah, you might want. decorations and uh, back up a little, I don't know, we'll get it in here, we'll figure it out. All right, Sean, I got most of it out, we still got to get the filter and a couple things, it does have an underground filter system, and we got to get the gravel out, get the 110 off. All right, uh, John and I just got the tank in, yeah, that was fun, uh, we got enough room to get these buckets in the end, and uh, you know, <laughs> 
<coughs> yeah. Ah. Yeah, we got the hose rolled up, we got the pump, we got everything in here. Uh, all the decorations, a couple little tanks he had. And we're ready to go. We'll go in, make sure we got everything. And sell it if I can get 1200 for it. It has the whole tape and everything. Okay, anybody looking for a buffalo head? Yeah, Holy all the cars for sale too. <laughs> selling it for 20 grand. It's a 69 Toronado. Oh, man. It runs and I got a whole extra engine, a whole other interior upstairs, doors, um, glass, radiators, drive axles. Okay? Hmm. Yeah. Take a picture of the front end there, Reva. It's, uh, it's front wheel drive. It's a Toronado Oldsmobile. What was the year? 60? 69. 69? 69. Wow. Yeah. It gets nine miles in the city, 12 on the highway, <laughs> and she weighs over two tons. Wow. Said, no, no, front wheel drive, 455. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't have much front wheel drive back then. No, that was good to have. All right. you know? Yeah, okay. Uh, that's all the cars are. Ryan was a good dude, and we got everything. He wanted to keep the stand for some reason. No, no problem. And we're on our way back, but like I said, uh, the movie A Christmas Story, the house is like one block away. So me and John, we're gonna stop there real quick and take a picture. All right, John and I made it and we'll go to the front. <clears throat> Jeff tells people bad news about the land. Yeah. So, and, <laughs> I don't know if we're allowed to really walk on the grass. But here's the front of the house from a Christmas story. Evidently, in the front window is where the leg lamp used to be, but John says they auctioned it off. Yeah. So, it's not in there. And they want $18 for a tour. So, we got the fish. We're not here, obviously, to do a tour inside. But we just thought it would be neat to, I mean, we're literally a block away, so we figured we'd just come here and do a quick you know, run around. Right around there is where Ralphie almost shot his eye out. <laughs> <laughs> and if you go online, you can still buy the imitation lamp leg, uh, the bunny suit, the BB gun, the whole works. Because I know, because I went online and checked. Oh, it looks like they got a little picnic area and access for accessibility to get in back way. But it's just a regular old house here in the hood <laughs> the old neighborhood is you know and John used to live right up the street uh, I see they got security all around it though <laughs> Look, you can be an overnight guest and spend the night at the Christmas story right? oh yeah there is you can spend the night here you, they rent it out so you can actually spend the night here and it, it's the inside's pretty much as if you ever seen the movie. That's the inside. I mean, they kept it all original. So, but yeah, I mean, it's literally a block away. So we had to stop and see the house. I've seen it every year on TV, and I don't live that far away. But I just never been here. So neat. And they do tours every half hour or so. And there is a gift shop next door. All right, we're going to get these fish back to OFR. All right, we made it back to OFR. John's getting that new uh, roller. Really big the big one? It should be in the back back there. Huh. Well, so yeah. yeah. All right, but we're going to we're gonna see if we can find the other one. But this way, we could at least put that on there and we don't have to carry it. Uh, I emptied most of the water, so we'll take it down and then we'll see if we can find the other and we'll carry all the equipment on the uh, cart. I guess I didn't film it because we were just too busy doing it, but it was over an hour and a half ago or so. But John and I, we brought the tank down, we put it up there and upside down and get rid of the rest of the water. And it won't fill up with water if it rains. They can figure it out. Uh, looks like they already moved the two totes we had with all the supplies and everything. We did take the uh, 500 to 1 filter inside, so everything's done. And I went ahead and helped out and went and picked up uh, one of the community service gals to come over and 
finish up her tour because her, today is her last day of getting it done. So Josh is here and John's going to spend the night and I am out of here. Uh, we will see you guys on the flip side. Alright everybody, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, yeah, Ron, uh, he was a cool dude, man. And uh, so, uh, yeah, it was awesome. But yeah, anybody want a buffalo head for 1200 bucks? you got one. <laughs> so, yeah, it was different. Uh, John and I, we're going to go out tomorrow real quick. We got a, uh, I don't know, like a 30, I think, underneath. And maybe a 60 breeder on top. It looks like some fish, this and that. The lady's moving. She's friends with Big Rich and Josh and known the family. And I think she may have uh, dated Josh there uh, a while back. So, um, you know, but she's moving in the process and she's got to work and this and that. So it's going to be tight. So me and John, we got to get there at 9 o'clock in the morning. And it shouldn't take us no more than 45 minutes or so. I mean, she's tight on her schedule. So it really shouldn't take us that long uh, to take care of it. So we'll get that done. And then we'll see what else is going on. So you guys stay tuned. Hit that like, subscribe, and share. And we'll go deeper with the Reaper.